We're loving our little diesel heater. Don't know if you've uh, seen our little video or not, um, but we've installed the diesel heater in the van and that is uh, making us all lovely cozy and toasty warm, isn't it, Moopy? Yeah. Oh, uh, toasty warm, Moopy. Love your friend, the diesel heater. <laughs> Good news folks, the canopy survived. It's got a few little tears and marks and stuff like that in it around. We managed to sort it out. It's, it's a different shape than it used to be, but you know, it still works. Right, so a couple of people suggested that I try the upside down method of building a fire. So I've got the fire pit. Um, a few people suggested it's an expensive washing machine and stuff like that. Now, yes, it does look like a washing machine drum, um, but believe me, the engineering that's gone into that works far better than a washing machine drum. Um, it's designed specifically for cooking over. So its size and height and everything else is designed that way. So a couple of people also said, um, why aren't you giving a shout out about your camping stuff and your setup and all that kind of thing? And yes, you're right. I didn't last time. So I'm gonna give them a shout out now. Uh, thanks Rich from Bug Out Vehicles UK. Um, because I had a chat with him about what I wanted to do and set it all up and all that because they're into bushcraft so go watch his channel there will be a link down below to go watch his channel um, and we've been to quite a few of the uh, bushcraft events and everything because Daz is into all that as well so Landy Andy turns these which is a modified British Army survival knife into pretty much a work of art doesn't it it's pretty cool I think um, it's probably one of the sharpest and most robust knives I've ever used um, but I just think it's amazing um, it's got an Etsy shop so I'll link the Etsy shop uh, down below as well so it's a, a lovely leather sheath that goes in as well nice leather lovely bit of stitch work and all that kind of stuff little strap on the end um, so yeah that's all in his Etsy shop so uh, like I say a link down below to his Etsy shop and obviously a link down below to Rich channel uh, Bug Out Vehicles UK. Let's get back to the task in hand that I've been set anyway. I've got to build an upside down fire. I try my very best to chop it up in such a way that I'm going to create big sections at the bottom but not too big. Uh, we've still got to get the air up through obviously um, and then smaller little bits at the top. two very similar bits of wood as my base layer spreading them apart and then we want some of these little wood shavings off the floor like I say it is quite cold right now so I don't know whether this is going to light or not so I'm going to help it out a little bit I think this is just as I expected. Um, this may well work in something like a log burner or something like that, something with an enclosure. But as you can clearly see now, uh, it's not worked. So uh, in this fire pit, I'm gonna stick to my original plan, which is completely the right way around for a normal fire pit. Right, so there we go, that is now the fire built the other way around. So we've got small bits of wood at the bottom leading to the bigger bits of wood right at the end. So as you can see, so really tiny bits, next bigger, bigger ones on top. And as you can see straight away now, because heat rises, it's now setting fire to the whole pile of wood. So within maybe sort of like five minutes, all that pile of wood's gonna be lit and then I can start feeding it all the other bits and eventually chuck in these big bits.
I'm playing outside while John's editing because I mean why wouldn't you it's blinking freezing it's like a welcome back to the UK Monday but when you're cold get some heat or heat with a brew now anybody that's watched any of our past videos will see that I have my lovely little um, I want to say rocket stove as such but my tiny little stove that I bought to try and boil kettles and stuff to which we had a competition with Daz and he trounced me four times over by boiling his kettle repeatedly so I've got a new kettle mm. um, I think the whistle on the other kettle had gone I also think the whistle on this one's gone so I'm going to be um, I'm going to use a bit of my discretion to see when it boils or not but instead of actually putting um, sticks in let me try these little jobbies so we bought a big pack of these burner starters and my little rocket stove comes with a shelf that you can put in to just run off um, different kinds of burning blocks and things like that like the fire starters instead of what it's supposed to give uh, 10 minutes of, of heat from these little things which I think if it's right under the kettle should be enough to boil it so let's see there is 700 mil of water um, in that which to me will give me two cups of tea or coffee plus enough for evaporation and stuff so there it is it's all set up turn that that way so you can see there I've got two of these in there so I'm just going to light them and then let me kettle I'll put washing up liquid on the bottom which is a hint from Mr Whippet so it doesn't get all burnt and I've got my little USB fire lighter thing so let's see if I can remember how to use it that is there we go As you can see I'm back in the van <laughs> yeah that stove is just in the bin actually the stove is in the bin I have a lukewarm kettle it's not even got to the point where it's uh, drinkable so I'm either gonna have to waste the water or put it on the hob <sighs> yeah you could always put it on my fire always put it on your fire yeah all oh, right okay then <laughs> show off I tell you but um uh, yeah um all the different ways of using that fire none of them none of them boil a kettle quickly different kettles everything so yeah I'm, I'm gonna use John's fire not not because it's better or anything just convenient because it's hot hot like you <laughs> <laughs> so just doing the morning chores got Cupid's little supplements and things ready to do his breakfast are you ready? You and your breakfast buddy? Is that what you're waiting for? <laughs> yeah. You big cutie pie. Look at that handsome face. Look at the handsome. Join your breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. <laughs> We're obviously staying on a closed campsite, you know where we are anyway. Uh, so in order to pay our way, uh, we're helping them out with maintenance issues while they're closed. So I'm going to be taught how to drive the Bobcat. To then pick up several loads of that to repair the access road. 
all right. That I enough? I a little bit more go up, it's faster. John getting to play with plant <laughs> I'll have a better road by the time you guys come back up here though it's cool I'm just gonna make us a, um, a quick lunch this has become a firm favorite of ours just because it's dead tasty and it's so easy to do um, and it uses this stuff, which we are going to miss incredibly because I've not found anything that is anywhere near the equivalent of it over here. Nice and simple. Got some leftover chorizo, um, some um, canne, pasta, mushrooms, sweet corn, peppers, um, bouillon powder, cheese, because why not cheese? Uh, with a, t a creamy tomato sauce and that's just going to all go in my trusty lovely frying pan um, so it will be going in really straightforward so chorizo, mushrooms, peppers will go in first and we'll fry them off once they're fried off pop the pasta in, pop some stock in let that cook for a little bit put the tomato sauce in let that cook for a little bit then right near the end, we had the sweet corn and the Greek yogurt to make it nice and creamy. Then we're having an extra bit, aren't we, babe? Are we? What are we having today? Bread. Gallic croutons. Yes. So I'm. Uh, <laughs> I thought we'd see it's food. It's supposed to be ingrained. Oh, here's some rain. Oh, how so, wonderful. Yay, more yay, rain. Yay, more rain. Thank you, Stone Christoph. <laughs> yeah, Christoph can cough. Chopped up veggies going in the pan. I am not putting any oil in because we've got the chorizo and it is nice and oily. Not like Steve, but you know, oily. So we'll give that a fry off for about five minutes. There's all the veggies, they look really nice, all nice and fried up. So I'm just going to add the pasta to the pan. And I know it seems a little bit weird, um, but adding the pasta to the pan now, frying it up, means it's going to soak up anything that's in there juicy wise. So we give it a lot more, um, a lot more taste, and um, get the chorizo oils in there just a little bit better before I chuck all the water and the stock in. So now that's had a chance to uh, fry up a little bit, I just poured in some water. I reckon that was about 400 ml. But what I would go off, depending on what else is in the pan, is that everything is almost submerged in the water. You don't need to fully submerge it because you're going to add more liquid. You're going to add the tomato frito and you're going to add the Greek yogurt. So uh, you don't want to overwhelm it unless you like it really saucy, <laughs> then go for it that way. Um, and I've put in the equivalent of maybe a tablespoon of um, bouillon powder. One stock cube will probably do the trick for you. Give that a stir and pop the lid on for uh, 10 minutes. So while that's bubbling away um, and soaking up all the nice juices and stuff, I might as well get cracking on the garlic bread. So it literally is one um, part baked roll. These are uh, from France, yay! Um, and I'm just cutting them into little, pit, little bits, little strips, buttering them, tiny scraping of butter, then put some garlic powder and some um, parsley on top and cut them each 
slice into four pieces so you've literally got little garlic croutons and then once everything is in so once I've done the tomato sauce the sweet corn and the Greek yogurt I'm going to put that all on the top with some cheese and chuck it under the grill for a little bit pasta's almost cooked so I'll just chuck in the passata or the tomato frito give it a stir and give it another five minutes so oh, the tomato sauce has been uh, soaked in nicely so I'll just pop in a tin of sweet corn small tin of sweet corn and a standard 125 um, gram pot of Greek yogurt I'm not going to season it because there is so much flavour in there at the minute I don't think it's going to need it um, so I'm going to give that two minutes and then I'm going to put the croutons on the top um, it's a case of rearranging them nicely over the top and um, and then sprinkling some cheese on so that's all done I've popped the lid back on again um, I did turn the heat off just pop the lid on so the residual heat will just kind of warm through the inside of the bread because I'm going to put it under the grill you can leave it like that you can just keep it on a low heat and it will melt all the cheese and it will cook the bread through the steam um, it only takes two minutes to cook these part break baked loaves once you cut them into small chunks anyway I'm going to chuck it under the grill so we get like a nice crispy top I'm also keen sometime to try John's little Bunsen burner that he uses for lighting fires because I think that would make it so much easier and like no, here it is in the grill <laughs> And there it is. No. Good. Good. Right. I'm getting cracking and starving. Good morning. Welcome to another lovely wet morning in England. <laughs> it is very wet this morning. But um, yeah, hopefully tomorrow get going somewhere. Uh, it's time to get the fridge changed over. So um, yeah, we're off uh, a couple of miles up the road. Um, get the fridge swapped over hopefully that'll be uh, far less gas that we're using as well so can't we wait for that as well but one thing I did want to say is a lot of you recommended after the last video that we put those silver screens over the front of the van uh, so we thought we'd order them and we did spent like £100 from a company called Camper Works um, and it's probably the first time I'm going to do this maybe hopefully the last time as well but Camper Works um, took our money and then said they were going to deliver them next day didn't post them didn't post them then they said they posted them and then they said that the courier couldn't find us now you guys know how much stuff i've had delivered for the last couple of weeks to the van and it's all managed to find us okay um now they're basically saying that the courier might be able to return it to them uh, i've asked for a refund obviously and they've turned around and said um oh no uh, you have to wait for the courier to return them to us in the condition that they left us and once that happens, we'll refund you within five to ten working days. So yeah, this is just me doing my bit for you lot and saying, if you do come across this company, Camper Works, don't buy from them because the customer service is a bit crap. So uh, yeah, that's just my little bit of consumer advice for the day. So I've got to get these steps in try and uh, see what I can do because I've got to get my thousand steps in a year and obviously with lockdown um, missed out on a few days of being able to do much and then the weather was ridiculous and and even today I've not brought Koopy out because his little back legs are bothering him again and he did about four miles slow walking yesterday so uh, I think every other day for a big walk for him would be, uh, would be ideal but yep let's see I think I've got roughly five kilometer walk planned out in my head so uh, as long as I don't go flat on my bottom because it's muddy around here then uh, should be a good one I'd forgotten how beautiful this is even with the power station in the background it's getting to a little bit of nice normality again now I'm cooking and now John's editing and because he's editing I'm off to the shops We've done really well with the food we bought when we stocked up before we uh, before we left Spain. Um, I think so far we're about to buy like one other meal. We needed snacks before we needed that meal, mind you. Um, so we're uh, well. I am off to buy just one or two things. Need some spuds. Gonna get a loaf of bread, and we're gonna eat the freezer down because it's been uh, it's been full of stuff for a bit, and then I'll get that defrosted. I've not got Mr. Cooper with me today. 
because Mr. Cooper is really suffering from all of this cold. It's ridiculous. His little back legs are shaking all the time. <laughs> Face track's working. Hello, found me again. Oh God, I love technology. Anyway, so yeah, Mr. Cooper's staying inside with his dad. Um, staying nice and snuggly. Uh, we've got some clothes coming today. John hates it, but I think his feet need a bit more support. So I've got him a little pair of boots and um, we've got him a waterproof but kind of nice lined all four leg jacket so uh, yeah you'll see shortly look at that look how thick that ice is it's definitely cold definitely colder than spain that's for sure if you can see is a group of crows it's a murder murder of crows I learned a couple of things. That was one of them. And that a group of panda bears is called a confusion. I mean, how funny is that? I know there's like loads of things like that. Tell me your favourite down below. Oh, it seems like a good idea to walk to the shops to you realise you've got to carry it all back. Look how tall I am! I blame the person who laid it. Got my handsome boy. He's not happy with mummy. He's not moving. He's huffing. He's not making me wear clothes. Because I put him in a rain suit with shoes on. But he is good for your legs. It is when we go out for toilet. Look stupid. You can go out and then you won't get wet and muddy. All the mates are going to laugh at me. Really? <laughs> he just flopped on the bed. Goopy! Oh, Baba, you want to go to the toilet? Like, oh my god, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> just don't, don't just dive up. You've got some things you've got to take care of first, buddy. We have to understand the limitations. <laughs> wait. Look. How long do we reckon those shoes are going to stay on his feet for? What do you think, buddy? What do you think? <laughs> you, you, you breathed on my screen. Oh, look how handsome he looks. And his tail going. Oh, his tail going. Yeah. <laughs> Come on then, let's get some running in. Come. Well, I thought he'd be walking like a little deer or something. Oh, there's a wee. So the wee works with the jacket on. What do you think? You're nice and warm? You're nice and warm, buddy. <laughs> oh, he's so funny. So there's a big area at the back of his bum that he's going to get a bit... Um, he's going to get a bit wet and muddy. However, the next size up suit was like six centimetres longer so that'd hang right over his bum and get full of poo I should think. Ah, oh, hey buddy, come on then. Look at him, like a pro. You'd think he'd worn shoes before, wouldn't you? <laughs> come back in. Could be. come on, let's go toilet buddy. Come on. See you in a minute, pal. Come on Good bud, boy. out. Come on, come on. Look, he wants to go back in the van, he's that embarrassed. Hey buddy. What do you think of my road? What do you think of your road? Yeah. It's drier than it was. Yeah. Coop, off there, buddy. It's still frozen. It's still freezing. Yeah, it is really still quite cold, in all fairness. But yeah, this was a deep mess. Yeah. This was right across the road, wasn't it? A big puddle. So we're all filled in there now. And then pretty much most of the puddles down there filled in. It's been, uh, it's been nice to to know you can go out, I think that's the biggest thing, even though it's not, you know, out, out. Yeah, I've just been redoing the van, fixing stuff. <laughs> and it's just good I'm out of the way really then, isn't it? I suppose so. there's not that much place for you to be if I'm pulling all the front of the van apart. And doing things with electrics, which means no coffee, no yeah. heating, all the things I like. Yeah. <laughs> well now we've got it pretty much the way we want it now, so quite happy with that. I've explained it to Mandy, but I'm sure it only makes sense when she presses the button and she gets coffee or something like that. Well, I got back before and I'm like, 
can I have a coffee? He goes, you haven't tested it yet. So I'm like, cool, <laughs> I've got coffee. Hey! <laughs> so yeah, just reconfigure electrics. But next uh, Tuesday, and there'll be a video, which I don't know if you've ever watched my electrics video. It's quite popular, it's at about 400,000 views. But it's basic. Whereas the electric setup we've got now is far from basic. <laughs> it's basic meets Bursner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the gadgets version of basic. Yeah, yeah, very true. So um, I've just gone kind of the other end of the scale. Same guide, same walk through of everything. Um, but to explain what we've got and if you wanted to replicate it, how you can set it up and what you need. Uh, we've played around with the diesel heater. Still, around. still can't get that ticking noise to go no, no. at all even if you suspend it from itself the vibration the doof, 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 comes through the very thin plastic tube mm. um, fuel line and you've replaced most of that anyway haven't you yeah but the last bit is what you need because apparently that regulates the fuel flow ah oh, fair enough yeah <sighs> so, gosh darn it oh, it's a bit squidgy around here <laughs> it is right. squidgy around here See, you can see the moon. Folks. It's the moon. The misty moon. Misty moon. I'm sure there's a song about that somewhere. So it's nearly five o'clock. Uh, waited till uh, <laughs> this time. So this is our third take of this. <laughs> the first time Cooper started dicking around. Oh, don't say dicking. Messing around. <laughs> the second time you wouldn't believe the amount of traffic that was going down the bottom of the road. Oh uh, no! And the third time. Oh, the third time the battery, the battery went. ran out. So this, is the, this is the fourth time <laughs> oh, we have dear. tried to do this. <laughs> Uh, right, and on that bum note, <laughs> no, and that dad joke. Yeah. yeah, I think it's time for us to booger off. Aye. So yeah, next Tuesday, wiring video. I know that might be a bit uh, some of you, but otherwise you can be nosy and see what the van's made of. Yeah, and there's a couple of interesting little things in there as well. Is there? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. I don't even. John know doesn't even are. know what they are yet. Cool. I'm not going to give it away. Yeah. <gasps> oh yeah, some of you might be quite pleased about that yeah, yeah it's been okay. requested an awful lot it has yeah all right um so yeah hope you've all had a good week yeah hope lockdown's not treating you too badly yeah and and you've been do doing things yeah <laughs> or if not you've been enjoying not doing things yeah hope netflix hasn't crashed on you too. <laughs> <laughs> right then folks hope you uh, have a good one and uh, we'll see you next friday yeah take care Bye. Bye. oh yeah hannah had a shave because um, it was annoying me. Tried beard oils, tried all the stuff, and uh, beard just isn't for me. So I'm going for a short beard for now, but then I'll probably just go back to stubble. Not suited to this beard malarkey. <laughs>